Hey, y'all, listen, Quad from Married to Medicine had a little incident going down at her Georgia home. So apparently, y'all remember Quad was, you know, adopting a, a, ba a newborn baby. You know, she had custody of this baby about three years ago. She was adopting this baby. Well, that baby passed away as, um, in a drowning in Quad's backyard, y'all. Now, it's yet to be known whether or not Quad was there. And we know Quad was that girl always doing her do and running the streets. But there are two witnesses who were there in the midst of all of this, and they have details on this story. Y'all, let's get into this. Welcome to Royer's Corner. If this is your first time, thanks for stopping by. If not, I'm glad that you're back again. Please hit that like button, comment your thoughts and opinions down below. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell on all. That way you see each and every time I post a video with you in mind. Y'all, let's get right into this. This is such a sad, sad situation. I hate that this has happened. Um, you know, toddler drowns in Married to Medicine star Quad Webb's pool, okay? So tragedy struck at Quad Webb's Georgia home earlier this month after toddler drowned in her backyard swimming pool. WSB TV Channel 2 Atlanta reported Monday that Cobb County police responded to a call of a three-year-old girl drowning at the Married to Medicine star Maretta, uh, Marietta residence on July 7th, okay? By the time officers arrived on the scene, the firefighters were already giving the child medical aid. This is so, so sad, y'all. This is a really sad situation. Y'all remember Quad from Married to Medicine. She was married to Greg um, uh, from, uh, he was, what was Greg? He was a, um, I want to say he was a therapist, I want to say. I want to say. But um, so cops said the little girl was transported to local hospital where she was pronounced dead. This is just, Wow. So sad, okay? Two men were visiting Webb's home, told police um, that they were in the pool for about two hours until 8 p.m., at which point they got out, went inside, ordered pizza, and hung out upstairs. According to the men, they were not identified in the article. They went back downstairs after a while and noticed their, uh, they thought excuse me, and notice they thought was a doll floating in the pool, okay? Um, after they realized it was the child, they told the cops they called her out, excuse me, they pulled her out and called 911. It's unclear whether Quad was home at the time of the incident, which police believe was an accident, okay? So I'm glad to hear that this was an accident and not that I ever thought it wasn't an accident because freak accidents happen like this a lot, especially during the summertime. Um, I know that we have seen Quad's home a few times and Quad has that massive pool. You know, she she she's got a house for I mean for for days for the adults. I mean, it, it is definitely an adult home and I just don't think um that the best safety precautions maybe were in place, you know, especially to have a 3-year-old. Now here's Quad's home real quick. Let me pull up Quad's home, y'all. Give me two seconds. Here's the house, okay? This is the backyard. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Safe for a three-year-old? Mm, I don't know because this is a lot going on. So I could totally see, a, you know, a child or even, you know, someone who can't swim falling in. So I hate that this has happened. I really, really do hate that, okay? So uh, officers identified the girl um, in their report as Arena Rice, 
who is the daughter of Tamika Webb from Memphis, Tennessee, okay? According to police reports, Rice, whom TMZ claims is Quad's great niece, had been staying at the Bravo Liberty's house for months long vacation, okay? So baby girl had been there, staying there, you know, and 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 look at this young baby. She is beautiful. Just just adorable. Wow. In April, Quad posted an Instagram of the little girl named Ari in honor of her third birthday, okay? Wow, I can't believe my baby is three years old today. I remember you falling asleep. Uh, uh, she, I remember you falling to sleep laying on my chest. The reality star captioned the series of photos and videos. You absolutely stole my heart from the moment I saw you. Ari, you're so special to me. I'm so grateful to be a part of your life. Uh, I got you forever. Happy birthday, chocolate drop. So, you know, quite adored this young baby girl. You know, and, the, you know, Quad is not a stranger to adoring the babies. We know that Mason was with her this past season, you know, living with her and her mom. You know, and I wonder where was her mom at doing all of this ordeal as well? Because Quad's mom lives there as well. Who was watching this baby? Quad revealed to Deluxe Magazine in May 2020 that her family was growing. We have a new baby on uh, on the way. And so we've, uh, we're we very happy about her. She's in the hospital right now. She gushed at the time, adding, my mom and I have custody of her. And so I'm working really, really hard to prepare a home for her. So this is the baby that was coming to live with Quad, y'all. This, you know, after she took in Mason, she was going to have another, you know, brand new baby, okay? Quad went on, I just want to be able to give her the best life possible, and I, I am responsible for that, and she's going to get that. The following month, the actu uh, actress clarified on the Daily Dish, baby Ari was not my adopted daughter, Without divulging too many details, she simply said she and her mother were in supportive were a were in a supportive role and part of the village. Okay, of raising this child, Quad Webb and family have suffered the loss of two beloved family members in the separate occasion in just one week. Her reps told TMZ in a statement following the horrific news. This has been an incredibly challenging experience for the entire family. Your understanding and support are deeply valued. In this uh, trying time, we extend our heartfelt gratitude of the kindness and compassion shown by the public, fans, and media. The statement continued, we kindly uh, request much needed privacy during this period of mourning as Quad takes time to grieve her family, okay? Y'all, this beautiful, beautiful baby girl. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Quad, where were you at, honey? Where were you at? Where was your mom? Where were the response? Who was watching this baby? Who was supposed to have their eyes on this baby so that this didn't happen? This baby was in your care, Quad. And I'm not placing blame at all because, you know, things do happen. But according to this article, Quad, you know, we don't know whether or not she was there. There were two gentlemen there. Who are these two guys that was just hanging at your, out, your, out at your house? You know, this baby was floating at the top of the pool. That means this baby was, you know, in there for a while. Y'all was in there for two hours. Nobody noticed the baby. Nobody thought about where the baby was. Like... What is going on? I need some answers. I am definitely praying for the family. I'm definitely praying for Quad, you know, but we need some answers because this is not, this story, it, it, mm -mm. something ain't right. Something is not right. And, and I just, I really hate this, but we need some answers. Quad, where were you? Who are these two gentlemen? And thirdly, who was supposed to be watching this baby this whole entire time? Y'all, leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Hit the like button on this video. If you're not a subscriber, check out my channel. If you like what we got going on over here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell on all. That way you see each and every time I post a video with you in mind. Y'all, 
we need some answers. And if y'all feel like y'all got some, leave them down in the comment section. I love y'all. Sending prayers to the family. And I'll catch y'all next time in Royer's Corner. Bye.